What is up, you guys? It's Ninja Kage here, back with another reaction. Today we're reacting to CJ the Champ again, back to back. Nezuko is on Demon Time, the most disrespectful moments in anime history. Trace, bro, that's crazy. So Nezuko, man, I just watched a new episode of Demon Slayer. Heat. Demon Slayer has some of like the best animation, like I've seen, dog. Like that shit is fire. Like. <clears throat> The um, choreography, voice acting, everything is A+. Saw so, Attack on Titans, new episode. This shit is, this shit is clean. That, that's all I can say, bro. This is a fire-ass show. Um, so I think we're getting a regular uh, disrespectful moment to anime history here. Because I think we're going to have multiple niggas. Now, I'm trying to think of what Nezuko did that was disrespectful. Um, I mean, I guess the last episode where she was fighting. Or not last episode, but couple episodes back when she was fighting and uh, <clears throat> she was whooping that ass pretty much. Um, let me see. I'm really trying to think of like disrespectful and Nezuko moments. I mean, she did play like kickball with that demon girl or whatever. She was like kicking the ball back and forth. But I'm, I'm curious. I'm going to I'm gonna have to see what he's talking about here. Go ahead and subscribe to Jordan Clan. This is my gaming channel. want to build this up and uh, appreciate it. Let's get it. Throws a punch where bro ends up stopping his punch with a lunchbox and straight up just cheap shot. Damn, bro. Everybody like, hey, 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 my boy, you shouldn't have done that. Shit. It, it, yeah, my guy, I ain't even gonna lie. He, he should have not done that. Shit. So then, bro just started Ooh. blasting. Jesus Christ. Boy hit that with the HR gram 64 bomb. Damn. What enemy was that? Someone tell me. Oh, by the way, I did just start uh, Death Note, by the way. Uh, on my first episode right now, so come the next time you see me, I might have, depending on how good Death Note is, bro, I might have binge watched that shit. So, uh, big ups. And I'm playing Pokemon too, so your boy is busy right now. <laughs> Hi, ladies and gentlemen. It is finally time to return to a series that we have not been to in. Jesus Christ, four goddamn months. <laughs> I know some young niggas probably like, <laughs> he forgot about that shit, didn't he? <clears throat> well, for your yeah. information, yeah. I they know. fucking showed the Yelena, bro. Yelena is crazy, man. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, brother, this guy stinks. <laughs> hey, hey, but listen, listen. It's finally time to return to the most disrespectful moment. That Mario Kart music. History. The series that we will observe some of the most outlandish. outlandish oh, if you're having Escanor in this shit, bro. High school with it, dad. I'm pretty sure. Man, Escanor. They had to do my nigga dirty, bro. Beatdowns and anime history. Ooh. There's some moments that just make you look at the screen like, well, damn. <laughs> they really had to do the nigga like that. But, ladies and gentlemen, sit back and relax. Grab some popcorn. As I tell you about our sponsor today, Monster Legends. Monster Legends okay, is a bro. free to play game available on I might skip this part. Just... IOS. But big ups, get your money, bro. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado. All right, we back. Let's get disrespectful in this bitch. All right, ladies and gentlemen, first up to the plate is actually a moment that came out pretty recently, and that is Nezuko stomping out Daki. Okay. Now, as we can see, Tanjiro's fighting Daki right now, and he's about to cut the chat off. But bro ended up choking because a nigga forgot to breathe. <laughs> While he's doing his greatest General Grievous impression, trying to get his breath back, Nezuko comes from behind and kicks the dog shit. Yeah, that, okay, that was cold. That was cold. I forgot about that. Bro, like a bowling ball. <laughs> Man, look at her. She angry as hell, biting the hell out of that damn bamboo retainer, whatever the hell that is, all that damn slobber coming out of the damn mouth. Like, bro, she kicked half of her head off. So they start boxing, but Doc gives her the chop and just slings her back three houses down. She gets crushed by this rubble, and she is still angry as shit. So while Doki's monologuing and talking shit, Nezuko gets up from that and regrows literally all of that her was legs. clean. That was clean. She takes a whole bite out of the damn bamboo stick. And Jesus Christ, look at this absolute menace, nigga! She got veins in her forehead. <laughs> look at Doki. She like, what the? F what type of crack did this just snort? So then Nezuko blitzes her ass. And, oh my god! Yeah. Mm -hmm. Straight up stepped on her ass. Made the sound like a door. She did step on her. <laughs> Nigga, her whole foot is in her back. And look at her staring at her like shit. I know your back ain't been blown out like this before, has it? So 
But then she lifts up her foot and straight up breaks her arm in half. Yeah. Okay, you right, you right. I haven't seen this. I haven't seen I forgot about that. I forgot about that. It's kicking the licking shit out of this Stepping on her ass harder than a thong. Oh my god, bro. Her head is bouncing off the ground. <laughs> then Doki loses, so she just slices up her entire body. Bro, her blood is literally holding her together right now. And, and then she just started burning her ass. So then she reattaches her head, jumps up to high oh, heaven, yes. and just straight <laughs> her face into the ground. So then she just starts stomping her out again, ass tooted up and everything. And bro, bro, at this point, this fight is over. Just let the bitch quit. Menezico was like, nah, nigga, I ain't done yet. So then she gets her up, climbs her up for the kick and just straight up boots the bitch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she, she was doing some shit. I think he'd get even worse for Doki, right? Well, it did. So while Tanjiro's trying to calm Nezuko down, Doki's trying to get back up and trying to land a hit on her. Tengen comes in and stops the whole attack. Yes, this shit was fire. Tanjiro, Doki's like, ooh, a Hashira, you came to fight, nigga. And you like, shut your ass up. I ain't got time for your weak ass. So then she starts talking, and then her whole head just That shit was up. so fire, bro. In just a split of a that second, this man stopped her whole attack and straight up decapitated the bitch. So while she's complaining about why she's an upper six, Tengen like, uh, so why is your literal head in your face? Yeah, talk, right this nigga, this nigga Tengen Uzui, or what, how the fuck you say this nigga's name? This nigga is a demon, bro. No pun intended. This nigga was like, I don't know, he's a menace. This, this nigga got three hoes, okay? He got three hoes, bro. Three hoes. Um, he's a shinobi, which I automatically respect that. Ninja to ninja, bro. Um... He got the blink. He's the flashiest man alive, bro. This is the flashy demon, bro. This nigga's cold as fuck. I watch she's an upper six. I'm thinking like, uh, so why is your literal head in your fucking hands right now, you sorry ass bitch? <laughs> then she started crying. Hey, yo, this girl was talking all this sh like 10 minutes ago, <laughs> and now she's crying her ass off. Hey, but you know what? Watching this ass whooping taught us all a lesson, though. Never judge a book by his cover. Because that one quiet nigga in the class could have some hands and some black forces in his back. Yeah, yes, sir. You know what? I've seen it. I have seen it. All right. Next up. Big facts. Don't, don't fuck with quiet niggas, bro. Uh, for obvious reasons. And, like, don't think they don't got hands, bro. I've seen it happen to niggas, bro. You, you don't. <laughs> black forces in his backpack. You don't want to do that. <laughs> all right. Next up on the list today is one of the most classic beatdowns of all time. Classic. And that is the Tenjo Tenge Lunchroom Agni Kai. So while Masataka and Bob are having lunch, Nagi comes in and he wants to smoke. And he's trying to run the hands with Masataka. And keep in mind, bruh, Nagi's only been at this school for two fucking days. And he already trying to run somebody's fate on the second day of school. So he throws a punch, but bro stops it with a chopstick. What? And he gut checks homie and sends him flying. So everybody clears out the lunchroom because they're about to throw down. They're about to have a straight Agni Kai. So Taki and Nagi's ready to humble his ass. He like, bro, it's only your second day and you're already starting shit. So then he says, all right, bro, since you were first here, I'll give you a handicap. All you gotta do is land one hit. So Nagi runs in and gets kicked in the temple. Damn. Then bro just started blasting oh. Jolly type shit. Nigga hitting him with the helicopter kick and just straight up teeing off on bro. He Rock Lee? Punch yet. <laughs> Look at Bob, bro. He like, damn. Sanji, no, that's Sanji. His ass so then somehow Soichiro gets up from that shit. So bro he comes in flying shit. with another kick, but then bro ducks under it on some Steve Fox type shit, and he throws a punch, but he grabs the punch midair and hits a whole spin of roof. Oh, yo, what? Out cold. It's what old. anime is this, bro? bro. And she's like, nigga, you really gonna get your ass whooped in front of all these niggas? You sorry as hell with that fake ass Super Saiyan cut you got going on, my boy. So that nigga, nigga look like Gojo. Is Gojo is off right now. This punch man, man is whatever. To beat this nigga to a pulp. <clears throat> like, this is the first day I wanted to whoop his ass so bad. So then he throws a punch, but bro ends up stopping his punch with a lunchbox. And straight up just cheap shots. <laughs> but everybody like, hey, hey, it's hey, a punch is a punch. Yeah, but it's cheap. Yeah, it's but cheap. Like, I ain't even gonna lie. He, he should have not done that shit. So then, bro just started blasting. Jesus Christ. Damn. Boy hit that nigga with the HR. I got 64 bombs. And they trying to get him off. The Damn! Got the way, nigga. No, dog literally dug his own grave. So he picks up his lifeless body and gut checks. Oh my god, bro. Oh, that I felt that shit. is gone. Just look at this, bro. Then awaken the demon. So then he throws a kill shot and it's over. The, the screen just cuts to black. That, that nigga is dead. He has to be. While we cut to him sitting on top of this roof and look at him, he like, Damn. I really got my ass whooped on the second day of school. And the thing is, he picked the fight, and it was in front of his girl, too. Damn, hey, bro. yo, bro. Nah, bro. That's, 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 that's disrespectful yeah. shit. <laughs>
Yeah, this nigga has to be the most disrespectful. Right, next up on hey. this is Adam smoking Ricky's pack. So Ricky challenges Adam, who is basically a love child between Dio and Hisoka, and the kid looked up to Tony Hawk. And this man does one of the most absolutely disrespectful things you could ever do to anybody. So the race starts, so Ricky takes off, but Adam is still standing there. And then this nigga pulls out a whole pack of black and miles and starts smoking that shit. <laughs> Damn, that's demoralizing as fuck, bro. Dog. Just straight monologues for about two minutes, talking about how good his black and miles are. So after he's done with his smoke break, he picks up his board and just starts Naruto running. Nigga went this, from zero this to nigga. 60 in a second. Oh, I was he is say. gone. And within five seconds, he's already on his ass. He like, what up, little nigga? Yo. I hope you like that two minute head start I gave your ass. And this nigga still got the black and mild in his hand, bruh. To him and just starts dancing on the skateboard. Like, nigga, what the hell is happening bro. right now? He pushes him down and just holds him an inch away from the ground. And look at him, he like, don't close your eyes, little nigga. You should savor this shit. So then Ricky passes him and does a nice ass little grind. Okay, that's cool. Like, hmm, okay, I'll fuck with you, my boy. So he throws down the cigarette and hits this nasty ass Casper's like, God. Oh, that's some fucking like SSX shit. What the fuck? Does this pose and hits this called the love hug and he is skating uphill. This nigga said, F the laws of physics, my boy. So then Ricky just went flying. Bro just ended up rolling down the whole hill about like 50 yards. Oh, he's Jesus gone, bro. Christ, back on skate three, that is a fat ass going haul of meat. Hey, but no, 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 no. This man wasn't even done yet, bro. Because while I'm talking about this anime, I got to add one more thing that he did. So they're having this tournament and Adam is racing Cherry right now. And Cherry is actually beating him right now because I ain't even gonna lie, bro. His board is like actual cheats. So then Adam pulls in front of him and Show then this nigga just starts tap dancing on his damn board. So then and Cherry says, don't get too cocky, nigga. But Adam's like, nah, don't be too optimistic. This ain't even cold. What is so this? Then he gets off his board, runs up at him, and slaps him. <laughs> Out of my face with that cheating ass board, nigga. <laughs> Hit his ass so hard to replay three different times. And then while he's on the ground, he starts talking shit to him and he says, Yeah, the reason I never responded to your beefs is because, yeah, nigga, you born as shit. <laughs> bro, pack it up, bro. This man is a menace. What the fuck right, anime is that, bro? We have come to our final moment. Okay, so I, decided I might as well save this one for last. Gotta make it quick though before these niggas get on my ass. And that is Mihawk pulling a butter knife on Zoro. So we all know Zoro's dream. He wants to be the greatest swordsman of all time. But to do that, he's gonna have to get past this nigga. I mean, look how bro pulled up looking like a dripped out vampire slayer. And look at him, how pitiful, weak one. Nigga, you weak as hell and you sorry as hell, but you know what? I'll give you a handicap. I'll pull out a fucking butter knife. <laughs> Look at dude, I'm no beast that goes all out when hunting a rabbit. So unfortunately, this is the smallest shit I got. Pfft. Yo, pack it up, my nigga. Like, dog, back in the day during East Blue, this was the craziest shit. This man got three stores and it got stopped by a butter knife. Zoro's like, what? what? Oh, nigga, I'm out of my league. And just look at him. Pray. Yeah, I'd be done. He's still going. What the Pray fuck? Y'all fucking day. I would have Zoro jumps up, but then he just gets stabbed. Man stabbed him with a butter knife and it sent through shockwaves. So then he like, state your name, nigga. Rep your set. As courtesy of surviving so long, I'll actually pull out my real sword. So then we have our stereotypical enemy sword clash. Yeah, yeah, bro, yeah, but we knew Zora was taking that. <laughs> even with do rag bro. Hey, but even though this is disrespectful as it made our boy who he is today. Cause this man no doubt a menace. Bro, Zoro, Zoro. Well, yeah, that was the most- We all got take L's, bro. Anime history <laughs> Hell, since we bringing it back, I might as well just do one of these once every month with all the other videos. So we'll try to make this series a little consistent. Yeah, Anyways, bro. Come on, bro. Make sure y'all go subscribe to the second channel. We almost had 100K on that bitch. And also follow your boys IG and Twitter. Go and bro. also make sure to go check out Monster Legends. The link is in the description. Go check it out, dog. Uh, yeah, this video was clean. Um, yeah, definitely drop those animes down below. The skateboarding one and that uh, high school shit. Because that, that shit was... <laughs> God, that Gondro looking ass nigga got fucking folded, bro. That nigga got... <laughs> no, sir. That's the thing about anime, man. Like, the disrespect is just... After watch, watching, like, Tokyo Revengers, bro. Yeah. Disrespect be on point, nigga. And then I'm watching Death Note, and I heard there has disrespectful moments of that shit. So, I'll come back with that, bro. Um, this was a fire video. Much respect to CJ, bro. And yeah, like I said before, this channel's only at like 15 subscribers. Definitely sub, and I'm gonna be posting more gaming content. I'll catch you in just later.